history, all four belts in the Cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man. Umar Ahmed, IFLC, MTK Global. I'm in Clapham today at the 12 Rounds Gym, joined by Danny Connor. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yourself? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, so you're next out on the 28th of April. Tell us a bit about that, your opponent. <coughs> um, I'm fighting C.R. Osgool. He's, um, I know him quite well. We used to train it. When he first came over, he's a Turkish boy. I think he's from Turkey, anyway. Can't be getting that wrong. It's political. So, um, yeah, he came over and... I knew him from the TKO gym when we used to train there, him and his brother under. They're good, good lads to be honest, nice lads. Um, he's unbeaten, I think he's 13 and 0 now. Um, okay. He's won the Southern Area title once already, like I have. Um, so yeah, I don't think he's really boxed anyone yet. So this is his, his sort of his step up. And obviously the winner is going to go out to bigger and that, bigger and better things. So like. did you say you had been training with him then? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've trained. Well, like, we've never sparred or nothing like that. Oh, okay. We've, like I said, we've been in the gym together. Like, we, we was in the gym for, for years, so I know what to expect of him. And um, obviously, I think that's a big factor as well that I'm playing to my advantage, is I know what to expect of, uh, of CR already. Yeah, so not looking past 28th, but if it does all go well for you, where do you see yourself next in terms of pushing for titles? I don't even know, time? like, honestly, I haven't even thought you just want You just focus on the 28th? Yeah, I'm yeah. focus on okay. this fight. Like, I wouldn't disrespect myself or my opponent by, like, um, by even thinking about that, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I think we'll just get the 28 by the way and then we'll see what happens. So that'll be at super lightweight? Um, yeah, maybe a super lightweight. Yeah. And would you want to start that weight? Or I don't know, to be honest. Move down? I, yeah, I, I can go back to lightweight as well. Whatever whatever opportunities come at whatever weight I'll take, you know what I mean? Even, even as far as super feather, I think I can make. Okay. So it's just, like I said, it's just a really and truly it's all about Oh, in between fights, what you do? Oh, you you're feeling? If you're blowing up, yeah, you're yeah. going crazy, then you're never gonna, you're never gonna make them like a weight. But um, yeah, of course, we'll just see what happens. Yeah. How's it going under Adam? Yeah, good, all good. I've known Adam since I was an amateur. Me, we used to train together at the Fitzroy Lodge um, when I was like, I don't know, I was like 18 or something like that. Um, so I've known Adam years, but I was with obviously I was I was with Alec Wilkie for like eight or nine years. And then when we when we obviously parted ways, it was a little bit like I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go, I was a bit all over the place. And then I went and I bumped into Adam and we sort of spoke about it and he just said, yeah, if you ever want to come down, you're more than welcome. So it sort of happened like that really, like no one sort of asked anyone, but we just sort of come together and we started training, training together. Um, yeah, moving away from yourself a bit, there was a lot of boxing on the weekend. Did you catch Wild Royal Tees? What did um, you make of that? I did, I, I see... I see Wild Ortiz. I thought that I thought that Ortiz was winning the fight. To be honest, um, and I think you know I think Wild has obviously done really well. He's a world champion, so we can't can't mug him. But he, I think he gets away with punch on the back of the head far too much, like rabbit punching and stuff like that, which is dangerous. Don't think he should be able to get away with it like he does. But I think that if he hadn't been doing that, because that's that's what obviously led to the knockout, so they hit him on the back of the head and you know if I'm sure he him or whatever. But um, yeah, if he hadn't hit him on the back of the head, I think it would have, think it would have been a different fight. I think if Joshua and him ever fight, have to have I'm a strong. going to ask you about that yeah, as well. If Joshua does fight. get through Parker, that's a tough yeah, fight. It's a tough fight, man. People but can't overlook Joseph Parker, mate. Yeah, so you, people you, always go on. People are going on the, like the, the theory of like what happened with Parker and Huey Fury, and they're saying oh he struggled with Huey Fury, but Huey Fury is a really awkward customer. You know? He's like a totally different fighter to Anthony Joshua. And I think that I think that them two are just meet in the ring. I think it'll be an absolute war with them two, to be honest. What's that, AJ Parker? Yeah, think? I think it's going to be. An so do you see it as a fifty-fifty? That it one? is a fifty-fifty fight, hundred percent. He's a you know, he's a world champion. Do you know what I mean? AJ has done the business, and I, I do think AJ will win. But it's not a fight he can look past. If he does manage to get through that, Joshua, and he does get in the ring with Wilder, yeah. where how do you see that one going? Um, I think you know, AJ, he's got his team. Like he's got a really good team. Whatever he's up at the GB camp and McCracken and that. I think that they'll obviously know certain things that Wilder's going to do. I think AJ's really well scored. I think I think he'll stop Wilder. I think he'll get him out of there. Hundred percent. Okay. Um, well, thanks for talking to IFL uh, today. Um, is there anything like else you'd like to add? Yeah, just want to say a big thank you to uh, my sponsors, AG Edwards and Sun Demolition. Darren Edwards. Anyone needs any demolition work, doing anything at all, get in touch with them guys. And thanks to Bradley Nervin, uh, uh, Medi Fresh, Medical Fresh. Um, it also helped me out a little bit. And yeah, everyone just uh, get, grab, get in touch with me for tickets for my next fight and uh, 
good. Okay, good. until next time, best of luck on the 28th. I'm sure we'll get you on the channel soon. All four belts in the cruiserweight division will belong proudly around the waist of one man.